So it's been a while since I played Demir. I think apparently more than a half year according to the logs. So it's not like I completely dropped it, but there had been just other interesting stuff going on as well. And Demir Battles is gonna come around eventually, I think next month. Though I don't know when this video is gonna release, so... <laughs> Today we're doing like two things at the same time, because first the Mixed Reality Mode or Pass Through, that I think released last year already, but more fresher mechanic is the hand tracking, which I mean, it's a no-brainer, it's a cars game, like there's not many huge mechanics going on with the controllers, so... It just feels natural to play it with your own hands. At this point this tech is so like seamless and like easy to play with. So I expect that the gameplay is gonna be relatively fine. I just wonder how to choose stuff, but I think it's just like pressing on stuff. Okay, well you can't like really press it, it's just like slight tap. <laughs> So here we're gonna be the AR. Hello. <laughs> oh wait, I have posters or something? I don't know how to grab it though, like it's uh, a bit far. This, a picture of the shopkeeper. A dragon on the ceiling, I guess. And I think nothing's behind me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, overall, playing MR in the recording studio is kind of like, it's okay. But it's not realistic nor nice to look at. I think we'll do like a standard um, skirmish scenario because I'm not gonna go into the multiplayer with it. I mean, I think it's gonna work the same, so... I didn't know you could play with four characters now. You literally don't need anyone else. Also, I'm not sure if, like, comparing to other games, it's gonna be a seamless experience because it's literally just a board, which is supposed to be that way, but... <laughs> I wonder how it's gonna be with precision. Pieces are relatively small, like when you kinda zoom out. You kind of literally need to pick them up, which is fine. And at least you have an indicator of where you drop it. But you can just do a close-up. But I think it works fine. Oh, I didn't know you can switch characters. Jesus, it's been a long time that I've played, you can tell. <laughs> oh, and the statistics are displayed like that now. Or maybe just specific to hand tracking. Can we go? Welcome to Ends. A town once calm, but just a few days ago, a quake occurred and transformed it into something else. <laughs> How to do it? How I was playing this? <laughs> Ah, no, it's just to look up the cards. It's too handy. I'm just worried about, like, doing stuff by accident, but I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Especially because now we have, like, the confirmation what to do, which is definitely needed. <laughs> Straight. Eat it. 
I also feel like the performance is in top tier. Maybe it's just the pass through is taking a lot of power. To be honest, I feel more immersed while being in this dungeon. But something also is going on, see? Like, I let go of my fingers, but it's still kind of picking it up. So you need to definitely, like, pick, but then completely drop it with your fingers. Normally, it would not be a problem with a controller, but it's just not 100% perfect. I mean, there is a higher potential to do a mistake. Because on movement you have no confirmation. Oh, it's water, it's not freeze ball. You're braver than you think. I barely remember the mechanics. I'm ready. There are definitely some new textures going on. It's like I see my distorted hand sometimes in color and sometimes in black and white. How that works? <laughs> yeah, I don't necessarily like this drop thing. It's not as precise as I wish it to be. The attacks are fine, it's just... Death from above. No, no, no. See, I didn't do anything. I just dropped it somehow. I'm trying to align the perfect money shot. Ah, let's just do this. I don't remember what this did because he got a rework. Higher damage, well. I don't really have a choice. It's kind of like I need to double tap or something. You're braver than you think. The moving of the map is fine, though. Ready. Have some steel. We'll deflect incoming special projectiles. Jesus, the health. My arrow 
I'll slash you. Run. I'll find what the Dokar. I don't think that's how they are called, no? I don't remember it was ever mentioned. <laughs> Wait, what? It took two turns or did I skip it? Find the courage within. It's the monster's turn. Ah, oh, not the rifts. I'm not agreeing with it. I don't remember the specific stats. Three, two... And I can't look myself? Oh, I moved it. Damn it. <laughs> It's definitely way more chaotic in pass through somehow. And I also didn't play in a long time, so I know what I'm doing anymore. But sometimes it's good to be fully immersed to just focus on what's happening. Deep into the territory, as always. Taste my steel. And the overcharge finished. I'm not specializing in him anymore. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of wonky. There's like a definite delay between the Take that. pinch and not. Don't fear any foe. All right, monster. Bye. fast i think overall i have to turn this ar something is going on like with the vision because maybe it's still a little bit too grainy for the vision to be for a longer period because i'm not gonna lie my eyes kind of hurt 
And I'm not sure if it's because of the prolonged game sessions today or not, but this feels better to see. <laughs> I think overall it's a cute idea. I'm not totally sure if it works with Dimia specifically because some staff rely on precision. And as far as the hand tracking technology goes, it works and it's good. It's just the pinching might be too precise to figure out how it should work. Because when I interact with the UI and just like, you know, try to press stuff, it works like 70% of the time. The worst is moving the figures on the board because you pick it up, but then when you drop it, it doesn't really register or I don't know, maybe there's some kind of like pressure going on. <laughs> if that would be me, I would still play this with controllers just because I don't like making mistakes in games like that because there's no turn back. So overall, I appreciate the effort of bringing it here. It's not needed to me, but I guess it's a more versatile gameplay. With the MR, I don't think I would go for it. Just because this is more thematic and immersive. In some cases, mixed reality is cool and all. I don't think here it's needed. Or maybe just like, I'm tired of seeing this studio. <laughs>